It's uh, time to take a spin around the world of tech. It is estimated one third of traffic in the downtown area of cities actually is people looking for parking spots. <laughs> Could software reduce the congestion? Plus, spider silk. Mike Ooh. Yanni has these stories and more in your daily download. Hello, everyone. The ongoing search for that elusive parking spot may soon be over thanks to some breakthrough technology coming to your vehicle. On street parking is a new tool that will be showing up in vehicles later this year. The software uses real time smartphone data and information from parking meters to monitor parking spots, letting you know when one becomes available. The spots then appear on your vehicle's in dash display. The software right now has an 80% accuracy rating. On street parking is expected to make its debut in BMWs, then move on to other makes and models. For many, the thought of a spider crawling on their arm is enough to send shivers down their spine. Would you wear clothing made from a spider silk? It could be the next big trend in clothing manufacturing. A California startup has found a way to manipulate the genes in bacteria to produce the same silk threads that spiders spin from their glands. Spider silk is stronger than steel and softer than merino wool, making it ideal for clothing. The process is being considered a breakthrough for the clothing industry. The company behind the synthetic web has already raised more than $40 million in funding and is working with textile partners to bring clothing to market. Remember when cell phones were just that? Phones, no apps, no cameras, just a simple device used to make calls. The simplicity of early sales could be making a comeback. Microsoft has unveiled a new phone which lacks many of the features of modern day phones. The new Nokia 105 can store up to 2,000 contacts, has enhanced audio, supports up to 15 hours of talk time, and comes with two games, Bubble Bash 2 and Snake. But that's not the best news. The real novelty here is the price. $20. That's it, 20 bucks for a cell phone. The phone is obviously targeted towards developing countries, but it will no doubt find an audience here as well. Speaking of money, it's estimated the average family wastes about $80 a month on food that spoils in their fridge. Can that number be reduced by using an app? We take a look at Eat Buy in the App Attack. Eat Buy is used to manage the food in your fridge. Users can log their food by scanning UPC labels or manually entering items into their smartphone. The app then monitors food for expiration dates. Foods closer to their due date go to the top of the list so you know which ones to use up first. When foods hit their expiration, you'll receive a notification. The app does require some work. Entering all the food takes time. You also have to consider expiry dates aren't set in stone. The app isn't perfect, but it does make you aware of just how much you toss out. Eat Buy is available for Android on Friday, which happens to be World Environment Day. An iOS version is coming soon. I'm Mike Yanni, and your download is now complete. I would not be using that app. Yeah, it's a lot of work.